What's up everybody? I didn't plan on making a video today, but after seeing Halo Infinite's newest update, I had to say something. If you have not looked at the Halo Infinite shop, don't. Do not look at the Halo Infinite shop. To frame the issue for you guys, I opened the shop today for Halo Infinite as there's a brand new update, and again, there is 10 new sets of armor. That's right, 10. For almost $200 USD, we could have literally had a 100 tier battle pass multiple times. Instead, they scrapped seasons, and they've moved to this model to try and make more money. Now I know, a free to play game has to sell cosmetics as it's the primary way of making money. That I don't have a problem with. What I do have an issue with is one, they've tripled down on the prices and they're even more expensive than the Spirit of Fire update and then the Cyber Showdown 3 update. That's why I complained during Spirit of Fire. I was like, hang on a minute, you guys are getting more expensive with this. And a lot of people said to me on Twitter, Remy, it's a free to play game. They need to bring money into the game. And then Cyber Showdown 3 happened and it was even more expensive. And I was like, hang on, look what they're doing. It's even more expensive. Again, I was greeted with Remy, it's a free to play game. They gotta bring in the money. And now today, every single person is like, whoa, it's even more expensive. This is too far. 343 needs to lower the prices. And I saw this coming a mile away. There are things in the shop this time around. One armor piece, one color, $15 US. I think it's like $400 Australian if I want to buy everything in the shop. To make matters worse, genuinely seems like the monetization team at 343 do not take any of the community feedback on board as the silent majority, as I've said, will happily purchase anything regardless of the price. If 343 is raising the prices still, it means that the people who aren't on social media are still buying everything. To make it a step worse, you still cannot buy individual pieces. As I've seen a lot of people online saying, I want to buy this weapon coating or this weapon skin or even this weapon model, but it's locked behind a 2400 credit bundle. That is on purpose, by the way, as again, a lot of people will buy the entire bundle just for the weapon model. Now, when I actually saw the prices today and I tweeted this out, I said, okay, three. 343, you're doing these really ludicrous prices. Where's the new weapons and where's the new vehicles? There needs to be equal value in terms of playable content. I've always spoken about a balance. You can't have one without the other. And to make matters worse, the free operational battle pass you get, the 20 tier battle pass, everything is fill up minus the last helmet. There are so many emblems, XP boosts, and pointless things that nobody is going to ever use. Maybe three or four of the tiers total is actually good content. They could have easily taken Taken another one of those armor sets, put it into the 20 tier battle pass, and that would have really buffed it up and made it awesome. That has obviously not been the case. Now, on a more positive note, and it's such a shame the shop has completely overpowered this, but it really is fun, so I'm talking about it. 343 released Grunt Pocalypse today, the classic firefight mode where it's grunts only and it really is fun. Now, I am primarily a PvP player. I like to verse other Spartans, but even for me, I loved playing Grunt Pocalypse. It gives me mega Halo Reach vibes, and the skulls slash different variations of Grunts are pretty cool. Again, I wish we had new weapons, aka the Fuel Rod. That would've made Grunt Pocalypse even better, but I played a couple games, and I actually ran into these guys. I just had to include it. It was super wholesome. Holy shoot, dude. I've been watching you for years. I'm not even joking. I saw your name, and I was like, I, I freaked out, dude. I oh my god. Like, I saw your skin too. I'm like, he's got the Master Chief skin. It's actually him. Oh my gosh. No, the game's over. Oh, well, no. it was nice meeting you, dude. Thank you. Shout out to you guys. I always match. You're always super wholesome. It makes my day. Thank you. The only downside to Grunt Pocalypse, and again, it feels like this hasn't been tested, it doesn't give much Battle Pass XP. So much so that the Halo support Twitter actually tweeted out, hey look, we know it's not giving that much XP, we're gonna look into it. These are very simple things, and it makes me think it wasn't tested before it went live. Hopefully it's just a simple value change that it pays out more, so you can actually complete your Battle Pass. It only gives 100 XP per game. You need 1000 XP for one tier of the Battle Pass, you would need to play a lot of games. I know I said it last update, but seriously, run the update by me so I can check it, as I would definitely pick up these easy things. And speaking of that, 343 rolled out three Firefight playlists. They're all Grunt Pocalypse. Now, I understand they wanted to do three different difficulties, but three is a lot, and it's also taken away the classic Firefight experience people also enjoyed. You could have two Grunt Pocalypse playlists, but three is kind of overkill. Maybe swap one of them out and put the traditional Firefight back in. That's what I would do anyway. Lastly today, and I don't mean to be random, 
ranting, but I know you guys appreciate my honesty about these things. The new map Corrosion, I guessed it, will be coming out in a couple weeks after Gruntpocalypse Firefight rotates out. Again, this is so there's going to be new content on the game. But here's a screenshot of the new map Corrosion. You compare that to some of the Forge stuff I've shown off on the last couple days, it looks unfinished, especially the main structure and the surrounding features. Kevin Cool X actually pointed out this map again was made by Sparisoft, the same people who made Elevation. At the end of the day, if the map plays really well, then how it looks really doesn't matter to me. I understand they needed to run at 30 FPS on the original Xbox One, but I don't think another arting pass where they go over and they add some more features is going to hurt. As a very quick side note, as I know a lot of you guys who watch my videos and love Squad Battle, the old maps have been added into the playlist, so it's now the old maps and the new maps. However, they've removed waterworks as a lot of people did not like waterworks, so people will be happy about that. So that is it. That is the entire update. The prices are ridiculous. Grunt Pocalypse is awesome. One of the best firefight modes I've ever played. Three firefight playlist is very overkill. And the new map Corrosion launches week three of this operation, which is in two weeks time. Let me know your thoughts, guys. The pricing is ridiculous. It really is. That's all I really have to say today. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys later.